All right, we are back with the woodpecker in the front end of the amplifier. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit the stop button on the video and I don't feel like patching it together or restarting from where I left off. So we're just gonna upload two today because why not? So again, here we are in the front end of my Victory V40 Duchess. Um, for an overdrive, I'm running my Strymon Sunset. I'm using my Fender American Strap Pro coming out of a 212 Pinewood cab with two vintage 30s. And for my full effects section, other than the woodpecker trim, I'm using a Strymon Timeline and a Strymon Big Sky because, argue if you will, I don't care. I love them. They do everything for me. So here we are back again. And as I was saying before, when you're running into the front end of your amplifier and you have the rate all the way up and the depth almost all the way up, middle position being your fastest speed, we can leave the level right dead center. You get a lot more of that false sub octave effect than you get when you put it in the effects loop. So I know fun some folks are big time front enders when it comes to all of your effects or they prefer a trim in the front end before their drives, after their drives. It's whatever suits your need. I like running it in the effects loop, but the sub octave effect is super cool. So here's that demo again. <laughs> Just sounds cool. So let's tame it down a bit. Let's bring the rate down. We'll set the speed in the double position, back the depth off a little bit, and we'll play with the level because we haven't done that yet. So here's my unity, or sorry, my dry signal will add a little bit of boost. Unity sitting right nice and dead center. So, as I like to do when I test out effects, let's run a loop and see how it goes. I'll be right back. All right, we've got a loop put into the Strymon. We are back. We're gonna test it out with a little bit of easy going lead sound. So one of the things I was talking about earlier with the level control is that you do get a little bit of boost out of this pedal. So it is nice if you are using it in the front end to be able to say, okay, I'm going to leave it at unity. And when it comes time for me to pop out over the top a little bit, I'm just going to reach down and give it about a quarter turn just to boost me up over a little bit. And that is a nice thing to have on hand. So I'll use that. Left my overdrive settings exactly how they were when I did the loop. I'll use that to kind of poke me over the top just a little bit. So here we go. So I'm not the best at matching the tempo, but to be fully honest, I'm a avid user of a tap tempo enabled tram pedal. Now, if you don't mind not having tap tempo and you're totally into this sound, I would highly recommend it. It is a phenomenal tram pedal, but I'm one of those folks that I primarily play lead. So I want to make sure that my tram absolutely matches at all times. Now, if you've got a great ear for these things and you can reach down and adjust the rate accordingly on the fly, that's awesome. Great skill to have. Me, not so much, but still, there is a good sample of the woodpecker trim in its entirety. Highly recommend. It's a phenomenal circuit. 
If you want to pick up the name brand version, it is an Earthquaker Devices Hummingbird pedal. And the only thing different between the Earthquaker and my clone is that I did add the rate LED because I just have to be able to see what the tempo is before I activate it. That is very important to me. Hope you enjoyed.